1984. Everything began here, with a broken heart, and scenes much like these. Scenes that would break the heart of Dr. Larry Jones. the children started out as an outreach among friends of Dr. Jones to literally do what its name says feed disadvantaged children ensure their survival with food with medicine with books Five years later, Feed the Children Philippines became official. Resources would dwindle. Charity was only half the equation. And in 1996 came the shift from dole out to developmental. So, yung lahat ng ginagawa namin, uh, and during those early years, na-realize namin na hindi siya naging sustainable. Na-realize namin na hindi yun maganda kasi nakakreate din yun ng dependency sa mga, sa mga parents na instead na mag, uh, sila mismo yung maghanap buhay, doon na lang nila ibinigay yung responsibilidad sa ibang ano, sa, like sa isang organization. So sa tingin namin, yung dole out na approach na yan, hindi yun maglalas at saka hindi din magandang tingnan. So, ang Feed the Children, nagsishift siya sa approach niya from purely dole out into truly developmental. Feed the Children needed help. And got it. From parents, from the communities themselves, from professionals, from local government, from donors. Helping children with their basic needs and their rights. Hot meals. Potable water systems. bali bilang volunteer uh, ako po ang namamahala pag dating po ng budget namin na galing sa opisina tulong-tulong po kami ng mga nanay na magi magi prepare ng para pangailangan sa mabata yung sa feeding program namin sa hapon tulong-tulong po yun at yan naman po bago namin pakainin ng ganyan eh syempre kailangan pupurgahin namin to Bibigyan namin ng gamot, pahihinumin namin, at pagkatapos bibigyan namin sila ng 
pagkain, ipagluluto namin sila ng pagkain para ika nga makasustain sa kalusugan ng mga bata. At saka dito ko rin na experience yung pag-serve sa tao na hindi ko ginawa noon. At saka dito ko lang din na ano sa sarili ko nga, ako pala pwede magsiserve sa kapwa ko. Kasi dati hindi ko ginagawa to nahiya ako eh. <laughs> Survival, protection, participation, development, the four basic rights of every child, the cornerstones of Feed the Children. That is what programs like EFFECT are for. Effective governance for child-friendly communities is designed to consolidate gender-responsive communities for the protection of the child. There's more to feeding children than food. There is keeping an abused child out of harm's way, a roof over the head, a warm embrace, a listening ear. There is making the world they live in a safe, nurturing one. And there is giving them the power to dream. But poverty is a constant enemy. The key is in feeding the parents too. Sustainable livelihood and enterprise development aims to increase the capacity of parents to help meet their own children's needs. Nagkaroon din kami ng mga livelihood trainings. Lalo na sa mga nanay, nag-seminar kami para sa livelihood. Katulad ngayon, meron na kami livelihood dito sa tulong din na Feed the Children. Merong mga parents na nag-umpisa sa poultry raising. Meron din yung mga small bakeries. Ngayon nga, nakita natin na meron na sila ngayon na existing na bigasan project. Yan ang una-una naming project dito, yung bigasan. Mga one year pa lang. More or less successful siya. Yun kasi yung nakita ang pwedeng mag-sustain ng project kasi yung feeding program kasi sa community ay hindi naman nagla-last forever. Feed the Children Philippines is working towards a future where children live safe, healthy, meaningful lives. It is what every parent works for what every community works for, what everyone works for. It has always been a shared vision. It has always been a partnership. Because wherever you are, whoever you are, a hungry child will break your heart too. That is what Feed the Children is doing. Restoring lives and healing hearts, one child at a time. <laughs>